I'm on the beach side and you can see some yatch in the back and there is the line you see at the back they are the cable cars the red cable cars I don't know the name but there are more cable cars than the one which I took and made the movie on so today is my last day here in Barcelona and just making the video of you know I'm in a bus V15 the bus is almost uh, empty just to show you and for fun I'm traveling around just passing my time till my uh, flight time comes because my kids are now tired my family wants to go back home uh, so we are just passing the time by taking random buses and roaming around the city in buses look at that this is the uh, red uh, cable car which you see at the back so I have taken the other cable car but I think because it goes over the sea and it also uh, comes from Montreux Castle I think so this one it looks better the view and uh, I should be quite sure this should be much better but I don't have enough time left because today is the last day um, this is the bus tour of Barcelona at daytime I am in bus V15 and let's see where it goes the route looks nice um, I, I'm starting from one extreme edge which is on the port and from there I'm gonna go to the next one and the reason I particularly chose this one uh, okay there it, the, the markery which you see there is some Harry Potter exhibition ongoing I don't know if you are able to see or not have to focus yeah Harry Potter exhibition so it's it, it's a big setup they have done I don't know what there is inside but my kids are fan of Harry Potter so they are really interested but that's the thing I don't have much time left and I don't think so the show will be at this time it should be at that night time and this is the bus which I'm sitting so these buses are like this it looks like a, a tram but they are not tram they have the wheel but the wheels are covered and so these are bus V15 so that these are new buses and electric buses and they look at the shape so they have made it just to look at neat clean as the trams are so there are no trams in Barcelona I have not seen any trams uh, but they are buses and uh, let's see so there are yards many yards boats at the back but we are still passing uh, through the seaside uh, and there is still lots of people there too so today is the first day where it's a bit cloudy uh, otherwise the last three uh, days have been uh, quite sunny uh, and it was quite bright days the brightness here in Barcelona as compared to London it's uh, I don't know tenfold more it was so bright that you cannot even open eyes today is the first day when I see some clouds but still the weather is not too cold it's quite nice it's it's best I think so uh, I've never been here in Barcelona before, in Spain before, but if I have to pick that, uh, what weather to come here, if you're not a beach fan, if you're not a swimming fan, then I think uh, I would again like to come in December, not in summer, because I think so this weather was quite nice, no sweating, yes you need to wear a jacket, but still it's quite nice. So, one thing which I've covered in my previous video, the structure, the buildings in Barcelona are quite nice, they are quite different. So in general I've seen that in, in uh, Barcelona there are lots of uh, Dacia cars so I think so that's the most famous brand in uh, Barcelona and uh, we are stopping again. Okay, structure wise Barcelona you can't compare with any of the European cities I have been to many uh, but uh, what I've found the structure the buildings the architect wise I think so the I found Barcelona the best also for walking for pedestrians there are quite wide uh, sideways sidewalks and uh, the signals are like uh, the, uh, the crossings all the crossings have automatically turned green so there are no buttons in order to press in order to make the light green and they are usually quite quick as well but uh, what I don't understand like even if your signal is green for pedestrians the cars can still pass it's not that if uh, the pedestrian signal is um, green the cars cannot the cars can pass but that's the thing preference i think to goes to the pedestrian so it's still quite safe 
so the bus is ongoing still it's quite empty i have been to four or five different stops now and there is a statue there are lots of statues lots of things but and there are usually fountains but all the fountains as i mentioned in the other videos they are not work due to some water shortage or uh, reason for water safety reasons uh, they are not operating any of the fountains and there are lots of uh, palm and date trees as well so which is different and there in the, the that is the monju castle where i went as well uh, i don't know if i've not covered uh, all, all uh, already uploaded i will be uploading a separate video for that as well uh, on my trip to barcelona so this is was the barcelona bus the tourist bus so as in many other cities they are uh, there are cycles as well you see this is a cycle stand where you can get tourists can get but i'm not seeing actually to be honest many people taking those because the tourist area is so crowded sorry the tourist area is so crowded you cannot take the bicycle there so only for uh, exploring a bit far you can take those cycles and that person is going but otherwise for tourists i've not seen anyone taking because everything is usually walking distance or you're going to take the bus if you're going from one tourist location to other there at the right side this is the the park where i made the video as well and there is also the barcelona zoo over there so this is a greenhouse there is a greenhouse here as well which is quite nice uh, i made a separate video for that as well either it is uh, uploaded in the same cities of barcelona this is the greenhouse which i was just talking about and there is a nice fountain and this is the house of dragons which my son read it so this place, this park with the where the Barcelona uh, Zoo is, this is the banner is written over here. This is for the same one. So let's keep uh, go, going. And you see the structures, the buildings. All the buildings are quite well maintained. Usually, most of the buildings are four story, five story, seven stories. They are ten stories as well. Usually, seven or eight stories is, is quite norm over here. Uh, throughout the, the, the Barcelona and they have uh, all most of them majority of them have uh, nice balconies with nice grill and nice structure this is the park which I was talking about and there is the famous uh, arc I forgot the name of that arc the something Ooh, I stopped the okay stop at the signal but look at that the statue and this is the arc this V15, if you start from um, the one end, uh, this is a nice bus because it takes you through a lot of location and across that is the zoo uh, park with the zoo and there are fountain, there is a boating area as well. It's also captured in my other part of the video and look at that. Yeah, so there is a crossing. This is where the arc is and this is where straight ahead there is the zoo the house of dragon and uh, a boating area as well for the kids and here i found that there are lots of pigeons and some parrots as well parakeets so that uh, that you see uh, that is of parrots actually lots of parrots are living in there because i was sitting i made the video there as well so, it's really nice this bus tour uh, i'm going through before i go back home I will have lots of memories of Barcelona, nice visit which you will I have captured and the art is really looking nice from here. So I'm just trying to see where should I fix it. Uh, in the movies when they show India Gate or something like that, India Gate or something, uh, it's quite, I would say, similar to that. Also in Paris as well, uh, there is something similar made as well. And in Pakistan, like we have the Chuburji, which is kind of similar architecture, uh, brickwork, not with the human uh, sculptures, but the rest. So they are doing some cleaning here as well. But yeah, it's it's nice. There are some other structures all around, but make it focus. There is a tree in front, so let's see. Okay, yeah. So the name of this arc is Arc D Triumph. So it just uh, the, the bus announced. So this is where I am, Arc de Triomphe. So the bus is still empty. It's in two portions: one bus and then the connectivity, another bus. So it's the modern buses, electric buses, which is long. So, so 
so this is the other side and now we are going further uh, so I think so it doesn't go to La Rambla but it, uh, it just passes near uh, stops near one edge of La Rambla as well so now we are entering more um, dense uh, tourist area but one thing as I was saying about the buildings if you look at that uh, the balconies of the houses in Barcelona there are lots of cafes but one thing which I'm struggling I have struggled a lot is the English breakfast tea so if you ask them do you have English tea the, most of the cafes say no actually all of them say no so there is a cafe 365 so I asked them day before yesterday they said they don't serve it but then I went in again yesterday first lady said no and the second lady said yes so she put some tea which was not exactly the uh, black tea the breakfast tea but it was some sort of similar so i used it with milk but she was not even sure so she asked me do you need milk or uh, how do you want it so which is a bit strange that if you're coming and you like the normal tea from pakistan like lipton supreme or something like that or black tea what we call or english breakfast tea please do bring it with you so uh, my views in the four day trip to barcelona how would i rate it uh, so my rating would be that barcelona is good it's nice uh, as i'm not a beach really beach fan that who likes to go to the beach or swim a swim so I would give uh, I could, the best weather to visit Barcelona, I would say Christmas because all the streets are lit up so you can see the, that's a light. So I, I have night videos as well, you can so see those, but all the, almost all the streets, all the inner city, uh, hundreds of streets are fully lit up and so nice to see so many lights. I've never seen so many lights uh, in any city around the world I've been to. Uh, so in that way I think so December is the best time and usually people say December is like a, the non-peak uh, uh, days and in, in spite of the fact it's non-peak still there are lots of tourists La Rambla or the main tourist area are fully jam-packed so, so that is also a thing that uh, even with that you see lots of tourists so if you are coming in summer uh, uh, I don't like too much crowdedness so I think so winter is the best season uh, my marks if I have to give 10 out of any marks out of 10 uh, for Barcelona I would actually rate it high I would give it 7.5 marks out of 10 to Barcelona it's nice it's uh, vibrant it's quite lively so I think so it's quite high like to give you a comparison uh, like with uh, I have been to multiple cities I will compare it with others so based on the tourist tourist um, lens if i have to compare and with a family lens that if you're going with a family and a tourist place um, so i would give 7.5 to barcelona uh, out of 10 i would give six or five to ireland okay to dublin actually Dublin because so there is not much for the kids over there so I might give five actually to Dub uh, Dublin in that sense for the kids that what they're gonna do how you would spend the time like if you have four days in in Dublin I don't know what you're gonna do because Dublin city center is quite small there are not much activities uh, there is a zoo it's ordinary zoo that zoo rating is also quite low here I have not gone to the zoo there are still the, the market wide uh, in La Rambla in Spain in Barcelona is quite good so so you get the comparison 7.5 Barcelona 5 for Dublin if I have to compare London um, I, London city center or city area I would go 6 6.5 because the thing is yeah there, there are lots of places um, or maybe seven I can give you yeah, seven I, I would give uh, to that as well or 7.5 maybe 7 for I'm getting it you uh, because London for the first time if you're going four days you can easily spend because there are lots of there there's the Felger Square there is London Eye there is uh, Big Ben um, there is uh, Buckingham Palace uh, and there is Wax Museum so uh, there is aquarium it is aquarium here as well so in that sense yeah I, I, I think so if I have to give to be honest now comparing and rethinking reevaluate I think so 7.5 London 7.5 to Barcelona uh, because you can easily spend four days you don't have to think too much that what you need to do next and also if you consider going around there is uh, there are two nice paths as well there is Lagoland there is Chessington 
uh, my videos are there if you want to go and have a look at them so based on that and I think so there is a park uh, here in Barcelona as well but I did not go to amusement park so based on that I think so it, it's gonna be same 7.5 Barcelona, 7.5 to London, and Dublin is 5. And what next? Okay, uh, the next one which I have lived and spent time is uh, Budapest in Hungary. So, Hungary, I would give uh, considering family and activities and those kind of things, and considering four days that how you can easily or entertaining uh, with entertainment spend four days. I think so. Budapest, I will give seven. 7.5 as well because uh, in Budapest as well there are lots of things to do lots of activities for the kids as well so uh, you can do lots of things okay so we are uh, this is the main shopping mall uh, of, uh, of Barcelona this is the main city center you can say what I think so it should be the city center uh, and La Rambla is that way that is La Rambla okay so across over there uh, so this is the main shopping center I forgot the name of this one but the people who are looking at that they will know where I am right now there is the center so there has been some festival ongoing so Barcelona festival de Natal and due to that there is singing going and some Christmas market in that area as well so this is a stage um, so this is the main hub I would say and all these are lights these are not ropes these are all lights so this whole area is all lit up and yesterday when I was passing these are all lights as well so it's it's all illuminating it's it's splendid view and yesterday when I passed here there is uh, uh, there is a Lego, Lego store over there which I have made a separate video and also there is some sports shop Barcelona uh, shop as well over here and uh, sports Barcelona football club and yesterday I think there was some celebrity uh, was there because lots of people were they crowded there uh, police was there so I think some celebrity was there uh, for inauguration or something like that so that's my assumption okay coming back to the comparison so if I compare now with uh, Norway Oslo so I have spent some time in Oslo so Oslo I would give six I would give six out of ten okay uh, then if I have to compare with Lahore it's completely out of the world because it's not Europe it's difficult to compare it's not apple to apple because the dynamics are different I belong to Lahore but if someone is spending four days but it's different but still if I have to compare Lahore I would give uh, based on the activities to do and food and areas to cover I would give 8 marks to Lahore it's my city I know maybe I'm biased but uh, based on the activities based on the vibe and the areas I think so I would give 8 marks to Lahore out of 10 so Lahore is winning but still Barcelona is 7.5 London is 7.5 Budapest uh, 7 7.5 it's, it's in the middle so uh, one step down I would say now and uh, what else which city I have been to, I have spent some time in Amsterdam but not that much so it's difficult to compare that what you can do on four days but yeah but Amsterdam in general I have been three times there like short trips but if I have to compare I would give it uh, um, let's see Amsterdam uh, based on the family I would give it 6.5 6.5 to Amsterdam I would give there is zoo as well I've never been there but lots of uh, based on the city center area wide life over there 6.5 to Amsterdam there is nice I think so the best thing which I like about Amsterdam was the boat trip the boat trip was really awesome okay uh, which other city I have been to I have been to in Germany I've lived in Germany as well for a short while and in Germany Munich I've been to two three times uh, if I have to compare with Munich uh, it's, it's not much happening so Munich I will give quite low rating unfortunately Munich I will give uh, five as well same as Dublin so Munich I will give five um, and what else other city I've been to Prague uh, uh, so Prague I will give based on I had just one day but based on my observation I will give 
people usually like Prague, but uh, it's more famous for if you are into club uh, and pubs and those kind of things, but I'm not. So unfortunately, based on that, I will give Prague for families based. I think so I will give it four marks. So unfortunately, Prague is lower, but maybe uh, for other people, they might rate it seven. But I think so I will give it four or five, not more than that. So what, which uh, the city I have been to like as a tourist or I spent time. So Luxembourg, it was a short day trip. So it, it would be unfair to compare it with anything else. But I think so it would be for well, Luxembourg. I, I think so because I didn't find anything attractive over there like this. The sector is there. And of course, you can spend a day, but that's it. And there is nothing else. Um, which other city is there? So look at the structures. Uh, uh, so the, the, the video is made for the bus trip at B15 more people are sitting now these all are lights you can see but that's the thing it's a daytime so people are uh, so the lights are, are turned off so comparing further going further which city else which I have uh, I can compare with I've been to in Pakistan I've lived in Faisalabad I've lived in uh, Wakhand uh, I've been to Islamabad multiple times I've never been to Karachi I've been to Karachi when I was a baby but after that I've never been to so I can't compare with Karachi but Faisalabad three or two two marks because I'm looking as a tourist in eyes of the tourist that how you rate it so there would be a uh, um, uh, guard uh, body architecture would be coming in front just to let you know uh, they would be well the outside as well I will be covering that one um, and what else to cover so which other city I have been to so this is a uh, body when we can see that it's all hidden up in uh, uh, in between uh, the trees but you can see Casa Balto body and there is another one building beside it. So these are the buildings you can see. So B15 is quite a nice that you can see all the structures from here and as I said if you look at the architecture it's quite great. And the balconies are awesome. So lots of tourists outside taking the pictures. So, and this is from the front as well. So look at the color, the background. So this is what I'm taking from sitting in the bus. So you can see what you can find by sitting in this bus B15. So this is the stop name. Okay, so we're gonna go further. So I think so. I'm gonna stop here with the uh, with the comparison of the cities because you got the idea that how how the, uh, I'm rating Barcelona. But Barcelona has impressed me. In four days, it was nice. So the moral or the end is among the comparison. The top three are Barcelona, London, and. Uh, Budapest. Budapest is also nice for families. So if you are now, maybe I can do one comparison taking only these cities. If you are going for a longer trip, let's say 10 days trip, let's suppose. So which one would I rate higher? Okay, uh, then I would uh, be thinking where you can spend the time, more time, whether in Barcelona there are more things or not. So it, it is based on what you like to do what your family like to do or you as an individual as a bachelor if you're going what you like to do i think so hustle bustle activity lively wise barcelona has no comparison it's more lively the shopping centers the areas uh, la, la rambla and all the gothic uh, the gothic city the old uh, city area it's it's quite lively so you can't compare that with london london is uh, quite boring in that sense I would say and the building structures Barcelona takes more points uh, but the uh, locations to visit I think so uh, London might win in the long uh, trip because uh, London has a lot more activities as I said that uh, you can extend to Legoland you can go to Chessington you can go to many other places uh, but if you like more shopping and like to uh, see more buildings and structures I think uh, Barcelona is better Barcelona will get high marks in that sense Budapest uh, if I come back to Budapest Budapest is uh, 
uh, should be cheaper than both of these uh, and also the Budapest thing better with it it's everything there is a small circus there is a small amusement park there are um, uh, there are uh, structures like the Buddha castle and a hero scare over there so in that sense uh, three four days wise uh, it's quite good in the long run if you have like more days ten days trip you can still be able to spend the time and in that sense maybe Barcelona and Budapest will be falling in the same category but lively wise uh, there is no comparison Barcelona Barcelona is more lively the shopping area the, those kind of things so Barcelona will be winner for sure in that task so look at that building and other ones with a good architecture and twist to this side uh, you will see another body building so you see another one which is uh, Casa Mia so that we just pass around so I have not been to this far end at the maximum I went to with walking going to Casa Mia but this is the farthest I am now going uh, I don't know if how much further is the tourist area but I think so the main tourist area ends here let's see what comes next so now we are turning from the road where we were coming from so we were coming from there and as you can see lots of uh, glitter lights over there but that's the thing now uh, we are turning we are at the roundabout so let's wait so this is the street where we were coming now we have turned to another one and I don't know I have never been here so let's see how the structures over here are but as you can see three, three, six, seven, seven story eight story is quite normal here and some buildings go higher than that ten stories as well but seven eight stories quite normal and the architecture overall all the building these so this is a modern building one of the first modern building but most of them are quite the old preserved buildings and quite well maintained as you can see all of the structures with nice balconies and the grill outside okay so this is bus 15 which i am sitting on and i started from the first stop uh, one extreme and which was on the port side and i'm going to the other one so it's nice if you are traveling uh, to barcelona i want to have a nice view uh, of barcelona Barcelona city uh, by public transport instead of using the hop on hop off bus and uh, I'm enjoying it's nice it's giving me time to make the video and uh, I don't know what else to share and other nice building so it seems like we are uh, climbing up some kind of a hill uh, because it's becoming a, like a, a slope so if, if you like the video please do subscribe and share and if you have any comments let me know this is my last day in Barcelona and I'm making the video in a bus so it's a bus tour of Barcelona city uh, and I am on bus P50 look at that and the top building as well now I am a bit outside of the main tourist area and as you can see more traditional new apartment buildings you can see um, but still the balcony concept is still there there are some which don't have but most of them still have the balcony concept there uh, which is quite common because I think so of the heat and the summer that they need that because not everywhere they have the air conditioner also although they need it in summer uh, now just I thought maybe I can compare the public transport experience so public transport is good there are lots of options there is underground there is buses uh, basically these are the two options you have but that's the thing they are so frequent there are so many available that you can easily take it I don't know what that is this one I'm not taking this one FC Air DC I have no idea what that is but yeah it is So in general, uh, the public transport is quite good. You can take uh, and go anywhere. Uh, and it's easier as well because uh, with kids that you have buses option. And in these timings when I was here, it was not that much crowded. Only once or twice I found the bus totally crowded that I could not sit. Otherwise, uh, the sitting was available. 
I'm gonna wrap my video over here. I think so. I'll give you a good overview of Barcelona and my trip over here, and also a bus trip of Barcelona. Hope you like the video. If you like, please do subscribe and share. And if you have any comment, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Assalamualaikum.